side right now and uh, let's take a look so if we uh, look in the light see a lot of let's see if I can catch the, the angle right there so you can see there's a lot there we go right there so we can fix those bends right there with a good press the rest of the cover looks pretty good there's some right there so that that again is what we saw in the case so we should be able to fix this uh this bend right there in the in the uh with the press and gently flip it over and take a look at the back and that's the same bend we saw from the front now we can see it on the back and this uh this corner right here too that whole side so we'll be able to clean this up significantly with our cleaning process. I'm gonna actually use my kit that I sell on eBay uh, to do that. And so you can see all the pieces that go into that. So we'll be able to clean up some of that overspray and then we're going to press out uh, all of these defects right now. So we'll see how they go, but uh, humidity, a, a little spa time in the humidity tank followed by a press should, uh, should handle that one nicely. Let's, uh, one thing I forgot to look, I forgot, there we go. Make sure we take out this mitt paper from uh, inside so that uh, that protects the, the book while it's in the case. CGC puts that in there as well. And I haven't taken that out there uh, yet. So there we go. Let's take that out before we uh, start pressing anything. Okay. So there's the Marvel Spotlight 6 and let's take Okay, so it's a little late at night, so we don't have the same light we normally do, but I'm going to start on the back cover of this one. And particularly, I'm going to aim to lighten up this uh, overspray over here uh, and just clean up the, the back in general. So I'll go ahead and start out with just giving it a quick little wipe down. And then my first step is always trust the old eraser. And with this, I'm avoiding the areas with any kind of uh, print or coloring on it. I'm just trying to line this up a little bit and then we're going to use the absorbing eraser to get in there and do the real, some of the real work. And then I'll also do the mel use the melamine eraser too. So you can see I haven't touched any of this black area, but that look how dirty the pencil cap eraser is. go through this because I want to show you guys in real time so I'm going to 
give this a once over and then probably go back and do a little more detailed spot work. But now I'm gonna move on to the absorbing pad and uh, I'm gonna work on one, just one area at a time. I was kind of hesitant with these uh, absorbing pads before before I uh, started using them. I used to use a drafting eraser mostly to do this type of work. And I was noticing that it was just like too brunt of a tool and I was losing some color on, uh, on the covers. Even if I was trying to be very conservative with it. So I um, took the word of the other people in the community, you know? and tried out these absorbing pads. And now that's mostly my, my workhorse is just the pencil tip eraser and the absorbing pad. And then uh, we're gonna use the Melamine Magic Eraser to do uh, a lot of this stuff too. So if we're gonna play through this, I'll, I'll talk to you guys a little bit just again about the things that I look for. So just a part of like buying and collecting, you know, it's always fun to make some money. I mean, part of this is, is a little bit of an investment side of it too. So knowing the market and kind of seeing what things are starting to heat up. And so I always try to grab books that I want for my personal collection and also at a time right before they're gonna heat up or when they start to heat up, definitely don't wanna be, you know, at, feel like you missed out of a book that you're now priced out of. So, you know, recent ones right now, Werewolf by Night 32, if you're looking to buy that right now, you've already kind of missed the boat a little bit. I mean, it probably still has room to go, but your time to buy it would have been last year, right? Um, another book that's kind of doubled recently too are The Silver Surfer 3 and Fantastic Four 48. So those are a couple of other good examples. Like I know they're expensive books to begin with, but I think a lot of people tell themselves, oh, you know, one, you know, I'll just wait, I'll get a higher grade, I need to save some money. They continue to go buy books every week at the comic store, not thinking that they're spending 30 to 50 bucks a week on, on new comics that adds up to a couple hundred dollars a month. And they could have just, you know, either been more conservative with their weekly buying or not bought for a couple months and had the money saved up for to go after a couple of those bigger books. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. Again, now I think like you, you want to be on the, the, the front end of that when the book is starting to heat up before everybody needs it, right? Like, Right now, everybody needs Silver Surfer 3. Everybody's watching WandaVision and knowing that Mephesto is going to be uh, a, a part of the future of the Marvel Universe. And therefore, it's just like, you know, even those books up. So you can't even find a nice condition one because they're uh, all they're a little older and all the ones that are left are kind of the torn up ones. And those are square bound books too. So spines are split. They just look like they went through the ringer and you're going to pay a premium form uh, so you know you want again you want to get on there when they're starting to heat up and then to to kind of like double your your advantage you know if you're into pressing and cleaning books find a find a book like this which is a pgx or cbcs where it has room to grow and you can crack it clean it press it and uh bump it up a couple grades so not only do you end up catching the getting the the uh being at the front end before the real increases start happening but you also have a grade bump which uh increases your investment in there so that's uh 
that's another, you kind of double your, your investment. Here, I want to take a look at something real quick. So this is a, a nifty little tool. This is my uh, you know, black light flashlight. And it's a good thing to look at staining and uh, any color touch-ups. I thought I saw a spot over there, right there, but it's okay. A stain or something. All right, so we are gonna try to lighten up some of this overspray a little bit. And to do that, I'm gonna use this guy, the Melamine Magic Eraser. And you wanna be really, you know, Pretty conservative with this. You don't want to go ham with uh, with this because basically you're it's functioning as sandpaper. Let's see how how good I can get it without going crazy. It's also kind of a delicate area too. Yeah, I'm not going to go any further on that side just because of the location of the, of the spine, but I should be able to clean some of it up. Whiten this up a little bit. Some of this is superficial, and uh, a lot of it isn't. A lot of it's kind of sucked into the to the page. So there's only so much I'm going to be able to do, and I knew that going into it, you know. But just lighten it up a little bit will be will be good. On the Marvel Spotlight, I think that it was lighter, so I'm gonna have maybe more luck over there lightening it up. So over here on this edge, we can um, I'm gonna put a backer board underneath it real quick so that I don't have to worry about damaging that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get much more than that, but definitely lightened up some. You'll see it more in the before and after photos. But, you know, it was, like I said, I knew, I knew there was only going to be so much I could do on that. Actually, I can try over here a little more, too. And with this, you definitely want to cover cover that lettering. You don't want to be wiping up lettering with this guy. Okay. Put this guy over.
And there's really, I mean, I really don't want to be too aggressive with this front cover because these colors are beautiful on here. That's good, guys. All right. I'm going to swap the backer boards. We need a nice, fresh backer board for this. A great book. You guys want to flip through real quick? So basically, this is the second episode or second issue with, uh, with Ghost Rider in there, right? Very cool. Pretty cool. All right. So back aboard at the center. I'm going to put this guy on the humidity tank. You guys have seen that process before. And then I'm going to throw him in the heater. In the heater. In the press. <laughs> Thank you.